Hey guys, this is my sister Ava, and I'll be teaching you guys how to apply face makeup. But I'm not going to be doing it myself today. I'm doing it my sister Ava, and I'm going to show her everything she needs to do to apply face makeup. And then we're just going to apply a little bit of a natural look. All right, so let's just get started. So first, she's going to be applying the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 50. So I'm going to be applying like two to three pumps. Okay, the next step is to use primer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer, and it looks like this. And what this does is it primes your face for the makeup we're about to apply. It makes sure it lasts all day, and she's gonna be applying that in her T-zone. In your nose area, in here, in here, and here. So this is called your T-zone. Okay, so now we're going to be taking the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation in 120 Classic Ivory. It looks like this. You use your finger and dot this all over your face. And then she's going to be taking this. This is a beauty blender. And what you do with a beauty blender is you use this to blend in your foundation and your concealer. And yeah, you just have to make sure it's damp in order to use it because if it's not damp, then you can't use it. It has no use. So normally you would use a light concealer. I mean, this looks pretty light. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer 20 Sand Sable, and it looks like this. She's gonna be taking this and putting a triangle on her eyes. Put <laughs> a line straight down your nose and a little X on your forehead between your brows. Go on your chin like an X. And then under your contour, you put a line. So right here. So now for her cream contour, I'm gonna be taking this. This is also by Maybelline Fit Me. Shine Free Balance Stick Foundation, and it's in Toffee Caramel 330. And what Ava's gonna do is be putting that as her cream contour. So when you contour, it makes your face look skinnier, right above here. So now we're gonna be taking some loose powder and Ava's gonna set under her eyes. So I'm gonna be taking the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Loose Powder and it's in MFP01 Light Medium. It looks like this and she's gonna be taking her sponge again and she's gonna be setting under her eyes with this and you can take a decent amount of it. You just dip it in a lot and now put it under your eye. This method is called baking, and what it does is it absorbs all of the moisture under your eyes, and it sets it. And you want to make sure you look up, and you want to make sure there's no little like crinkles under your eye because it's gonna set like that. Now we're gonna be taking some setting powder, and this one's translucent, it doesn't actually come out white, it's clear. This is called a pressed powder, it's not loose powder like you just saw before. And this is the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and it's an HDFP01 translucent. And what she's gonna do is take a bit really big brush. When you have a really big brush in your collection, it's called a powder brush, and what you do is you just put it all over your face, and you use yeah, this brush, very good. This brush is by Real Techniques, and it's called the, yeah, powder brush.
So Ava doesn't do her brows, but we just like to make sure they look groomed. So what we use is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara and Translucent. It looks like this. This is a mascara, but sometimes you can use clear mascara as brow setter. I use this, and I used to use it when I was in middle school. Okay, so for her eyes, you just want to take like a base for your eyeshadow, like an eyeshadow base, like this. Just take the NYX eyeshadow base, and it's in ESB03, I don't know if that's the exact shade. And what this says, it's like a primer for your face, but it's for your eyes. And what Ava's going to do is take a little furry brush like this. It's really pretty, I don't know what brand it's from. I think it's from Forever 21, right? Mm -hmm. So what I like to do to make sure it stays, I'm gonna take that powder again, but with a different brush. This is another fluffy brush because I don't wanna get those like dirty or whatever. And we're just gonna set what she put on her eye. So now we're gonna be taking the Carly Bible palette. It looks like this. And it's from a beauty guru. And we're gonna be taking this for her eyes. It has highlights in here too. And we're just gonna do a simple look. Looks like this. And we're gonna use this Morphe brush. These Morphe brushes don't have names, but it looks like this. This is called the transition shade. This is what blends all the shadows together. And we're gonna be taking this one for her, for her transition shade. I would start with this one, I'm sorry. Now we're gonna be taking, we're just gonna get darker. This one, it's like a more burnt orange color. These don't have shades. And you're gonna go, this is called, this is a tapered eyeshadow brush. And you're gonna go in here and you're gonna make it your eye more defined. So like this, and then make it more defined. Like you go like, like more pointy, like look, like this. So use this to wipe off your excess powder. So now we're gonna be taking a really tiny brush and this is by Bay B4Y and it's a detailer brush. It looks like this. By that brand. And it's a detailer brush. And what we're gonna do with this is Ava is gonna be highlighting her face. So we're gonna be taking this shade. If that doesn't work out, these are highlight shades. All these are highlight shades. This can possibly be used for a brush because it's pink. So I think we're taking a picture of this white highlight shade right here and this one. And you can use that for your inner corner. This is called right here an inner corner. This is called a brow bone highlight. And you can also put like a nose highlight to make your nose look more lifted and shiny. Now we're gonna be taking, I think, this shade and this shade, and Ava's gonna put this on her eyelid, and this is called your eyelid, right? Close your eye. Right here. So to make your eyelashes curly and long, you can take an eyelash curler. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen one like this before. But this one, this is an eyelash curler. This is for my younger audience. And we're gonna be taking the CoverGirl Sizer Fibers. This is a really good mascara, makes your eyelashes really long. So Ava is just gonna curl her lashes. Okay, so you open it up and you use two fingers, like yeah, like this. And you go close to your eye and you put your eyelashes in there. Don't be scared. And you just crunch them. Yeah, and just keep it there for a few seconds. Sometimes people like use a blow dryer or something to like, when you straighten your hair, I like to burn it, I guess. So 
So now we're moving on to contour. This is contour powder. What we did before was a contour cream. And believe it or not, cream is more heavier than powder. But now we're just going to be setting it properly. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. It's in Lucia 5F03AE. And it looks like this. This is kind of like a knockoff to the NARS one. But it's by a lower price brand. And I'm going to teach Ava how to put it on properly. We're going to be using this contouring brush from Real Techniques. It's tape and it's a contouring brush. So now to blend all the harsh edges, we're gonna be taking that mixed powder again, this one, with a big fluffy brush and you can just run that all over your face. So now we're just gonna be taking the palette again, the little duo, and we're taking the blush shade right here. So now we're gonna be going into this palette. So she's gonna be taking this one and that one. These are my favorite. And I'm gonna let Ava use my fan brush. This is called a fan brush, if you guys didn't know. So smile again and put out the highest points of your cheek. Grab them. So we're gonna be taking this lipstick. This lipstick is by Maybelline and it's a nude shade and it's an 015 Born With It and it's really cute. It looks like this. I'll swatch it for you guys. Ooh, it's pretty. Looks like this. So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed.